Hey, it's Ingrid, and I'm here with Jess and Elisa from Gentle Party. How's it going today, guys? Good, good. Cool, cool. So I'll start from the very beginning and ask why you guys decided to start this band. Yeah, so uh, the third member of our band, Meredith, uh, kind of pieced it together from different duos she had. Like, she and I were playing together at the time. She and a cello player who was in the band were playing together, so then she coalesced that into a trio. And then Shanto got, got Jess on board. And uh, we were like, this is dope. <laughs> How did you guys originally meet? Well, I didn't meet Jess until she was in the band. I don't know. How did you even... Shanto? I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> and I met Meredith through, like, an ex-boyfriend. Uh, and I didn't know Shanto before either, actually. Or maybe I did. Yeah, um, it's really funny. I don't know. <laughs> it's been ten years. I know. Yeah, I had yeah. to answer that question earlier yeah. today, which was like, it's been ten years. <laughs> I don't remember. Awesome. Yeah. So how do you guys decide like what you're gonna sound like? Is it kind of like, hey, I have a violin and a harp, and I can kind of sing like this, or do you go into it being like, we're gonna do a chamber pop band? Well, the chamber pop was pretty organic from the beginning yeah. because of the instrumentation. Yeah. I think, and then. Uh, as far as this album goes, is like the songwriting really dictated yeah. the songwriting plus the instrumentation, like dictated kind of how it was gonna sound. Cause you know, if you play that on guitar it's gonna be completely different. Yeah. But if you play it on harp or violin, it's gonna be what it is now, I think. And this yeah, our sound has evolved a lot too. Like as yeah. just the same, we've been playing for like almost ten years. Really? Yeah. Like um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so, we didn't sound like this in the beginning, for sure. No. I mean, speaking for myself, I was like a totally different musician at the time, because I was so young and didn't really like know what I wanted to sound like, even necessarily. Yeah. Um, so it's been cool kind of just figuring it out together, as t and it, it keeps changing. Like, the new album is so much different than our first, first album. album. Yeah. yeah. Cool, so speaking of the new album, it's called God Complex, and I want to ask a little bit, like, what's it about? <laughs> um, this is all you. <laughs> uh, it's about men being trash. <laughs> <Fair enough. laughs> um, which isn't fair. I'm not, I take that back. It's about the patriarchy being trash. Um, we love the, the men in our we lives. We love the men in our lives, yeah. yeah. Um, that's mostly what it's about. A patriarchal rage, I would say. God Complex particularly. Yeah. yeah. And then the song was so strong and the theme like really resonated with all three of us. So we were like, this is obviously the album name. Yeah, for sure. Cool. And like, is there a certain story that inspired it or that's just... Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to say that. No, no, no. This is like, do I reference the person I already mentioned earlier in... But I am right now. So uh, it was inspired by a person in my life who isn't in my life anymore who is a celebrated person in the music scene who is a misogynistic piece of trash. At least you get songs out of it. Yeah, <laughs> totally. At the very least. Yeah. <laughs> so I know you guys were supposed to play a release show on the 18th of this month. Is that still happening? No. no. Oh, okay. Sorry. So, <laughs> yeah, we've had to cancel and just... Um, it, COVID has made it so difficult to plan this where it's like we feel like we're on the cusp but we don't know for sure so we want to like maybe plan for something that can be a little more like a full body like in-person experience then we want to party we yeah. want to yeah. party yeah. <laughs> we deserve it we've been working yeah. on this a long time so for like late, two years we've been working well, I mean, yeah 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 later in the spring awesome. we're gonna party yeah. we're gonna have a show yeah for sure do you know if there's like word out there when you would be able to, or just... No, I think we need to wait till the February, like... Restrictions. Yeah, because they're about to end on the 19th of February, so when whenever they announce the end of that restriction kind of length, then we'll know better, yeah. but... The the it's hard with venues right now, because everything so is similar. kind of booked, but, like, half the shows won't end up happening, but we're actually, it's, like, quite challenging to find the right place now that we had to cancel the show we were gonna do it's um it sucks <laughs> it's a long yeah 
process. Yeah. <laughs> it's taking it's a lot of texts and a lot of emails and a lot of like, Duh! Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think like even as a concert goer, it sucks. Yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. I buy tickets and it gets canceled. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just noticed today at the show I had tickets for, they didn't even tell me it was canceled. The only reason I know that is because I saw it on Facebook. Two of my friends bought tickets to our show on the 18th. We need to tell them that. Oh. They're oh. not oh. going to I haven't even speak yet, speaking of which, I did that. I haven't yeah. changed it. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> I didn't realize that that was like, we haven't publicized it yet. They're total nerds. They like looked it up themselves. They were like Whoa. so excited. Oh. Nerds in the best way. Like, I love them so much. That's they were just nice. like, we're we so have fans. They got a babysitter. <laughs> oh my god, no! <laughs> oh shit. At least we okay, should I'll pull it. it. I'll pull it. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Oh my god. Okay. Sorry. Oh, sorry, okay, sorry. Cool. Maybe they'll see this. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm tell in person. Uh, so I know I saw on your website that you guys were doing a remix album where people are going to remix your songs. Is that still a thing that's happening? It's going to well? happen. Yeah. yeah. We're yeah. going forward with that. It, it might get prolonged a little bit just because the whole thing is getting delayed. Of course, but yeah, that is yeah. kind of a huge part of this album release is including our extended community and trying to engage with them through the music and their interpretation of it. Yeah, it's cool. Not a lot of people do that, so I'm excited to hear yeah, it. Works. <laughs> yeah, it works. Yeah, yeah if it works. Yeah. <laughs> if people care. Yeah. <laughs> Someone, <Yeah>. yeah. <laughs> yes, please give fucks. You know, to say that. Your two friends from the floor will be there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. People that listen to it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, kind of random question, but you guys are called gentle parties. So, if you were to ask, what would happen at a gentle party? <laughs> we are not gentle, are we? No. <laughs> I don't know how we came upon that. I think it has to do with the musicality, which is, you know what? It's both. It's the fact that we actually do party like, pretty hard. Yeah. But, but the instrumentation is so gentle. I'm, I'm trying to remember what the. Uh, for our first album, it got reviewed by Harp Column, like the Harp magazine, and they like... Jax, quit it, Jane. Hey, Jackson! <laughs> um, they call their van, like, they put this in print. They call their van, like, 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 I don't know, something terrible, like, soft. Um, I don't know, like, it was something so, like, it was like, oh, I should just look it up. Gentle, it was like not gentle party. They, they just called us and they're like, uh, heart, there must be like gentle fairy velvet. Oh, like a bunch of adjectives. Yeah, but they just didn't even get our band name right because they couldn't fathom that like gentle a band with a harp would want to be called a party, I think. But anyways. But that's the beauty of it. I think yeah. that's why it works so well is yeah. because there's, you know, classical instrumentation that you wouldn't associate with a party. And the f the way that the music comes out isn't exactly gentle all the time, yeah. but the there's a little dichotomy there that like totally works yeah. for the the whole thing. The dynamic I think suits it. We yeah. actually had to fight for it at a certain point. Like one of the band members didn't want to have that name. I was oh like, God, I no about that. way! We have to have this name. It's so perfect. It's so great. I feel like I got a shout out. I was thinking about this recently because we didn't come up with that band name. It was my friend Hannah. No way! It was just like, ha, oh, wouldn't this be a funny name for a band? And I was like, yes! <laughs> Please, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Take it. She's not a musician, so I didn't feel like I stole it from yeah. her band. Like, it's fine. Thank you, Hannah. We <laughs> appreciate Many it. Many thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, Valentine's Day is coming up. So if you're going to ask you guys, what's your favorite love song? Oh. Wow. We might be here for a while. Okay, I mean, <laughs> like, um, the jazz standard tenderly, maybe? My Funny Valentine! <laughs> yeah! It's kind of yeah. cute. Yeah. I mean, is it, is it not? Is it kind of like... It's, no, it's kind of problematic, actually. Yeah. Um, I don't know, I was just, like, listening to the new FKH Legs album on the way here, which is a masterpiece. Really? You listen to no. it? Oh, my God. Um. So like all of those songs are kind of like in love or out of love or about love. So oh, Fiona Apple. Oh, um, what's it called? Uh, Which one? It's from the second album. The one extra. It's called Not Show. About Love. Oh yeah. That's Wait, so it's not a love song. I'm sorry, it just says love. I mean, it is a love song. This is about love. Yeah. I'm not in love. <laughs> me either. I keep... No, she literally says I keep falling out of love. <laughs> yeah, me too. I feel you. 
sister, like, yeah. I'm not. This is why I have lists. Prepared. No, that's this a great song. I mean, I think our band was actually like pretty inspired by Fiona Apple. We covered that one song. We covered a Fiona Apple song, but also that album was like one of the most influential albums in my life. Oh, a hundred percent. The second one, the yeah. Pond. Oh my god. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Good. I mean, all of them. I think about it all the time. Extraordinary Machine blew my fucking mind. First and last song, so good. Yeah. I mean, the rest of it's good. And that album has crazy instrumentation like the orchestration it's super orchestral actually yeah so there you go we also, love yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. our love song is Fiona. yeah our love song is Fiona Apple. <laughs> and my last question is what's next for you guys uh, hopefully, hopefully we're gonna we have a party a <laughs> yeah <laughs> like god willing we can play yeah. a motherfucking show oh in this god. Ah! yes um, and then like more shows Hopefully more than just one. Would love to do a <laughs> festival at some point. Yeah, like, like feel love to like tour. A legit musician. Um, and then I guess we'll just... Well, I'm in the remix project. The remix. We also have a music video coming out. No. Two Not Little Three. Uh, yep. Yeah. It's going to be... The album's going to come out and then we're doing another music video. And then, truthfully, I want to do a couple more videos. Yeah. On a DIY scale. Definitely. For, the, this, the tracks on this album are so kind of cinematic and yeah. just... they play to visuals so well. So I, I have a little scheme to try and get, you Jess know, affordable director videographers. Well, Jess, is, and Jess made a, our first music video episode. Mm -hmm. She's a director. Dabbling. Yes. I'm a dabbling. Yes. It's, a, it's great. So more and more and more for God Complex. Yes. Just going to ride it as long yeah. and hard. I mean, <laughs> yeah, we haven't even started. Years. The horse is yeah. still in the stable. Like, yeah. Gotta get that bitch out there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> with that name. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. Yeah. We're done. <laughs> <laughs>